Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can graph a pair in Desmos. And to begin I want to lay out a strategy which is graphing two ellipses. And I think it's best if I show you what I'm talking about. So you have an ellipse that's centered. This is an ellipse. And we're going to have this sit on, on top of another ellipse. So let's move this up by a little bit. And then the second ellipse. We'll make it slightly make it slightly bigger and then and so the intersecting results so we're going to let the top half intersect the bottom piece by a little bit on purpose and now with this in mind I would like to define some variables to get control over the shape and we'll define a few pieces. This is going to be the roundness. There's a the roundness of the top and it's the roundness of the bottom. And for this example, I'm going to make the top a little more flat, uh, a little flatter than the bottom half here. So this would be 2 times n sub 1 and the reason reason we're doing this is is uh, we, we want to guarantee an even number and for the bottom half we would do 2 times n sub 2 and so now if you if we were to increase this in whole number increments you can you can, you can see this. You, you, you can you can see um, that that are, that we're getting flatter shapes. And um, something something else that's that that uh, I want to actually there's two things I want to add. First one is the radius for for um, for for each for each of the for each of the shapes. So let's make this bottom piece slightly bigger. So this would be r sub 1 squared, and this would be r sub 2 squared. And I'm also going to make a k variable to control the height. So the first one is raised up by 1, and the bottom half is moved down by by one. So now both of these be minus values. Alright, so for this example, I would like to have this top piece intersect the bottom by just a little bit and I'm going to approximate this and and so for the top piece it's looking about we're going to use the y here so y is going to be just a little more than zero and for the bottom piece if you want the exact number you can use it if you want uh, I'm just going to approximate it at minus 0.88 Positive point two. Excuse me for that. So this is going to be the basic shape that that um, 
we're going for in in this example and now I believe we're ready to color this all right so the color strategy that I'm going to go with is now we start with the ellipse and and we're going to cut off around this point since we want the bottom half to span the entire y-axis um, it's so I want to copy this equation and it's going to be an inequality here um, and then in this case it's going to approximate it so now it's going to use Um, the x value here and then for what goes in between we're going to take a top half of this so sell for the top half you sell for y in here start with y is r squared r sub 1 squared you subtract the x to 2 times n minus 1 and then you raise the power of 1 over 2 n sub 1 so you're looking to undo this and After you undo it, you add the case of 1. So you want this to be the top equation, and then you want for the bottom equation, or the bottom half of the circle. And so that would be the negative solution when you solve for y is a negative the square root well not the square root we're not necessarily guaranteed square roots in this example here so you subtract this value here And you raise it to the power of 1 over this number here. Alright, and, and then once you have the solution solved, you, you um, add the case of 2. So that this is easier for C, I want to break this down to the bottom half. And you can see evidently we are using the bottom half here. So for for the span, I'm still gonna use these two arbitrarily chosen values here, the 0 0.88. All right, now we have some slivers remaining. And so we would use the same kind of inequality. Only difference is we're not using the two subscripts, but instead using the ones. Now we can fill in the rest of our shape here. Now finally I'm just going to add a stem. You can use literally any shape. So, so for the stem, 
I'm just gonna use, use a generic parabola. I'm gonna go minus x squared since we want the stem to be kind of curving upwards like this. Um, and we do the same process. You shift it over by however much you want. I'm gonna move it to around about here, so that's half. Then we'll move it up to let's call that three. And we can move this. That was way too much. And we could call this between zero and zero point eight. Something like this. Want to adjust it a little bit. Alright, so this is a version of a pair that we've that we graphed and I hope you do benefit from this video. If you if you did, do leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this, um, do subscribe and thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.